Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Wakona Weekly. We are back from the Thanksgiving break, and we hope you all had a wonderful holiday. This week I have some information on the recent National Business Honor Society inductions. I have information regarding the National Honor Society's Empty Bowls event. And I have some details on events going on around the school. Let's get into this week's news. This week, the National Business Honor Society held its induction for the newest members on Tuesday afternoon. This honor society is similar to the National Honor Society, but with a difference being that it focuses on business students. These students have all, of course, proven to be great members of this community and will continue to do so as they work together in their National Business Honor Society, as they will be participating in various community service projects down the line. As for the event itself, it went very well. The president and vice president, as well as Ms. Durkee, the head of the society, each welcomed the new members with speeches and even some cake. We are proud of all those newly inducted into NBHS, and we can't wait to see what they do. This Friday, the National Honor Society, or NHS, held its annual Empty Bowls Potluck Dinner to raise money and awareness for food insecurity and hunger in the Berkshires. For those unfamiliar with the term food insecurity, it refers to those who cannot afford to pay their bills or, and or for food. This often causes food to become an uncertainty to those families who suffer from food insecurity. NHS members went out and about selling tickets for the event, and they also collected donations. They also prepared various dishes and refreshments for the dinner, and they served those who came. This is one of many things the NHS does to aid the community, and we would like to thank the organization for their continued dedication to the local area. At Wakona, there have been numerous things going on, one of which is the Junior Class's Toys for Tots fundraiser. Like last year, they have set up four boxes, one for each grade, for toys to be placed in. These toys will go to the Toys for Tots charity, and we recommend the class for taking on this important task once again. In addition, winter sports have been prepping for their upcoming seasons. Practices and tryouts have been underway for the various sports, and they will be playing other teams in the near future. We anticipate many interesting developments from the teams over the coming weeks, and we will convey them to you when they happen. So stay tuned for sports updates, and also be on the lookout for Wakona Bowling. Also taking place this week, the senior class has made some strides toward their final days at Wakona. Between finding out where their class trip is headed, that being New York City, and preparing for their specific graduation gowns, the class has glazed their window showing the ends of their high school careers. We will give more details about such things when they come to us. Finally, the Latin Club will be going on their annual Rhode Island Latin trip this Monday the 9th, and they will return by Wednesday the 11th. The trip is famous for its memorable nature and the many fascinating and entertaining things it brings to those who go on it to see. We will provide further information about the trip next week after it has occurred. Those are all of our stories for this week. We hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you did, be sure to like the video and subscribe. You can also follow our social media accounts in the links in the description below. Also in the description is a survey which you can fill out if you have suggestions for stories for us to cover. Be sure to stay tuned for future updates on stories such as the Latin trip or sports updates as well. Thank you for watching. This has been Zach, Alex, and Ryan bringing you Wakona Weekly. See you next time.